The ocean covers 71% of our blue planet. We depend on it for food, commerce, warfare, and recreation. Early explorers sailed the seven seas in search of fortune and new lands. Others used new technologies to probe the ocean depths in search of new and often strange marine creatures. But the ocean remains a largely undiscovered and alien world. We know less about the bottom of the ocean than about the surface of Mars. Today, Jack Hardy continues this tradition of ocean exploration. As a marine scientist and underwater photographer, Jack has explored most of the world's oceans, traveled to 75 countries, and published over 100 articles and several books. His richly illustrated shipboard lectures educate as well as entertain. Jack's love affair with the ocean began at the age of 13 when he read The Silent World by Jacques Cousteau. Inspired by tales of a new technology which promised to open the underwater world to human exploration, he purchased one of the first commercially available aqualungs and began diving. Fascinated by the many strange marine creatures he encountered, he decided to pursue a career in marine science. After completing degrees in marine biology and oceanography, he spent two years in Palau, Micronesia. His initial research on the giant clam, Tridacna, led to successful farming of these clams as an important economic resource for the region. Other projects in Palau examined antibiotic compounds from marine sponges and pollution of the coral lagoon. Jack taught and served as director of the marine research program at the American University of Beirut in Lebanon. His research examined the marine environments of the Middle East and culminated in publication of a landmark book on the marine ecology of the Western Arabian Gulf. Projects also included documenting the ecological effects of and the recovery from the 1991 Gulf oil spill, which remains today the world's largest. As professor and chair of the Department of Environmental Sciences, Western Washington University, Jack conducted research on the sea surface microlayer and on remote sensing of coral reefs. He became increasingly interested in global climate change, taught a course on this subject for 15 years and authored the well-known book, Climate Change, Causes, Effects and Solutions. He is an elected fellow of the American Association for the Advancement of Science and has served as a consultant on marine environmental issues to numerous organizations, including the European Commission, the US National Science Foundation, NASA, the National Academy of Sciences, and several United Nations agencies and national governments. For the past decade, Jack has lectured on some of the world's leading cruise lines. His lectures include a wide variety of subject topics in natural history, underwater exploration, and maritime history. His regional specific lectures include the Mediterranean, Middle East, Central and South America, and the tropical Pacific. New topics are frequently developed for specific cruise itineraries. So this morning, danger and dollars, Alaska's commercial fisheries. I'm going to talk about how important the fishing industry is in Alaska as an income and resource to the state. Well, as I was getting ready for this cruise, I was in touch with some people in the Canaries who told me about some strange creatures, some strange marine creatures that we have in the Canary Islands. Um, it's a saltwater catfish that exists here. Have any of you been to Canary seen uh, the saltwater catfish? Well, I was fortunate that they were able to send me a photograph of, of this, and so I have it here to show you. Now, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. I hope the rest of my talk will be a little bit more believable. <laughs> Today, I'd like to start with something a little bit different than the subject matter topics. And that's, I'd like to tell you a love story. Well, before you get all excited, it's not about my wife and I. Um, it's about the ocean and how I fell in love with the ocean at an early age 
and have continued to be so uh, up until today. Simply put, I love the ocean. I love the vastness. I like the quietness, sometimes the wildness, and certainly the mystery. So I want to talk a little bit about maritime history of the Mediterranean and Black Sea today. I like to uh, sort of tell a story. The story is about how a small 11th century state in central Anatolia came to be the third most powerful navy in the world, build the largest warship of its time, and control much of the seas at one time from the North Atlantic to as far as Sumatra. Today, Jack Hardy continues to explore the silent world, including underwater caves in Yucatan, shipwrecks in Indonesia, glaciers and wildlife in Alaska, and coral reefs throughout the tropics. He is currently working on his latest book, A Brief History of Piracy from Ancient Greece to Modern Somalia. Jack can propose lecture titles which will make a cruise to any area of the world a memorable, educational, and fun experience.